This is it. A can't-miss game and a backdrop to match what is a special occasion. The fans had this one circled on their calendars long ago, and now it's a matter of who will dominate on the pitch. Top players, big characters on the big stage, a highly exciting prospect. It's Crystal Palace, they face Liverpool, and it's coming up live on EA TV next. From a stadium with a reputation for producing one of the liveliest atmospheres in the English game, we're in South London at Selhurst Park. I'm Derek Ray, and with me here on the commentary box is Stuart Robson. And very much looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League. It's Crystal Palace taking on Liverpool. Thanks, Derek. Well, both managers will be reminding their players of starting the game quickly, pinning the opposition back, playing the ball forward and regaining possession as quickly as possible. Hopefully, we get a really good game here. Well, this is the team Crystal Palace have picked. Joel Ward plays with Nathaniel Klein in the fullback positions, and they line up with just the one striker looking to do a bit of damage. And this is how Liverpool start the game. Well, in this 4-5-1 shape, it'll be interesting to see how close the wide midfield players get to their main striker. Will they stay wide or play through the inside right and inside left positions? We'll have to wait to see how it develops. Well, whatever way you slice it, Stuart, Mo Salah is a man you just can't take your eyes off. Well, the best players are the ones that can play in tight areas, and he can certainly play in tight areas. He wriggles out the situations, he can find that penetrative pass, and he's such a good player when he gets the ball out of his feet and gets shots away. He could be the outstanding player today. Into the advanced position. A fine reading of the situation. Strong tackle, throw in forthcoming. Well, a disappointing throw there. So Bosloy. Very effective challenge put in. Not showing good vision. Lerma. Just cutting off the supply. Nunez. This could be troublesome. And that, a piece of goalkeeping you're going to see again and again and again. Delivering it. Really good build up, but no end product. Continues his run. Crossing opportunity. A goal! 1 0. A fully deserved advantage based on what we've seen. Well, just look at his movement. He knows exactly how to find space, and it's also a tidy finish. That's a nice goal. So, Palace get the game restarted. Disappointed to have conceded. Now can they come up with a quick response? a really good run oh that's a super piece of defending so Bosloy well they might be able to launch a counter attack well, so many possibilities but it didn't happen for them Watson Edouard Will Hughes Nunez. And Dyke with it. Grafenberg. Nicely timed tackle. 
Hudson Edouard. Jordan, are you here? Jefferson Lerma. Liverpool with the ball once more. Rafenberg. Chris Richards. Are you? And the referee playing advantage. Working away patiently, looking for an opening. I just couldn't play that decisive ball. Bodies forward and the break looks on. And a tremendous vision. getting close to the half-time interval and the story so far they're not really making home advantage count Stuart your take well it's been a fairly even first half so far but they haven't shown enough creativity particularly in midfield where there's been too many negative passes if they can get the ball into the front areas that little bit quicker I think they'll get back into this now options are plenty Keepers delighted to see that sail well over the bar. Goal kick. And it'll be a throw-in. Trent Alexander-Arnold. Will he play it in? And it wasn't a productive cross. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. And Ballard's finding space on the flank. So much time has been added on. Chance for the leveller. Well, just centimetres over the bar with that powerful shot. <laughs> the referee's whistle, and that means the first half is over here in South London. I think most fans would be pretty happy with this man's display so far. Well, Derek, he took his goal well and was a constant threat throughout that first half. I thought he showed a lot of skill to get out of tight situations and he had a real impact on the plate. So the ball moving again and work to do for Crystal Palace in the second half. doing well to win back possession Alexander Arnold Nunez on the cross work out for them but he dealt with that ball played in rather well well breaking in pace is always a possibility Hughes. Hughes. Will he shoot? The fans hope so. Got to it easily, the keeper. Well, Palace need to be more threatening. There's been no real fluency in their attacking play. Something has to change here. defensively Grafenberg Mozala Darwin 
Between Nunez. Elected to shoot. Great defending here. Constantly thwarted. Another into the final half hour. Now, maybe room here for the counter attack. Take it away. Grafenberg. And he stopped them in their tracks. Also, Eduard. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. You looking for that final pass and for that chance to level the game, and it might be. And the keeper to the rescue, he takes a piece, and that's for sure. It really is a top class save. They're making a change. deliver it with accuracy well the defender deserves a bit of credit to be fair yeah i think you have to give credit to the defending there just enough pressure to put him off at that vital moment Is up offside. Well, that's just a lack of awareness. He was clearly in an offside position. That's a good ball. Liverpool move in the making. Is it going to be an opportunity? In position. Oh, it's in! And that might be the goal that clinches it for them. No looking back now, surely. Well, here we can see it again. He's shown outstanding vision to find the perfect cutback. And the finish is clinical. He just makes it look so easy, doesn't he? He looks really pleased, doesn't he? His side have been really good today. So back underway with the lead standing at 2-0. Joel Ward. Ayou. It's there for him. Well, that was 
an opportunity to get themselves back into this contest. Well, it's a chance, yes, and one they needed to take. They're struggling here, no doubt about that. Well, his reaction says it all. It's just not been their day so far. advantage accrue to Liverpool and they got into that crossing position but dealt with defensively so three minutes of stoppage time coming up Riedewald the space on the flank here in towards Salah and drawing it back could be oh tremendous reflex action there from the keeper well he didn't have long to react did he but that's a top class save I have to say and their supporters, no points victim, what did you make of it? Well Derek, they weren't at their best today, both as individuals and as a team, and they didn't deserve anything from the game, need a much better display next time out. Well Stewart, he really has had a lot to say for himself out on the pitch. Well of course his finishing could have been better today, but he scored one and made a lot of chances for himself, I thought he was outstanding. 